we're gonna turn right there. Captain Book. Why? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey! You know, I'm climbing, baby. Can I too? Hey, what's up guys? So, just uh, we're gonna have this Kimbo here. Um, I've been able to dial it in using this adrenaline. Um, it's kind of, it's pretty cool how this Kimbo works. Um, I can see that much. Um, it's not always the easiest tool to use. And, uh, you know, I'll try to demonstrate that guy for you guys. Um, you know, I've got my Captain Hook rope out of the way here. There it is. Yeah, so there's the Captain Hook. And, you know, Captain Hook tree climbing here. With the uh, little Stein Carabiner, or actually not Stein, apologize, Rock Exotica. Really cool little Carabiner I picked up from uh, Tree Stuff. Uh, I did not pick this up from Tree Stuff. I picked this up from a, a Vermeer dealer out here in Jersey. Uh, they sell Cheryl Tree Stuff. So shout out to Cheryl Tree Vermeer for um, selling me this product 
Uh, they're, they're not paying me for any of this. So. So, one thing I found was kind of like jittery. You can get a little jittery, but if you, you gotta like get used to it. It's kind of weird. You gotta put just enough force to start breaking the friction. And once you get to that point, you gotta be able to hold it there. And then um, press a little bit harder if you wanna slide a little bit faster. And you know, obviously just keep uh, depressing it find the where it's gonna start giving way so right here we're locked and just with a little tiny bit you're able to break the friction start going and there's a little bit quicker right there for you guys but it's really cool how um, how the device just handles it's pretty awesome it's really smooth uh, going up when you're uh, ascending on it, it um, it kind of just like folds down real easy, and the slack just runs right through it. Obviously, you gotta have your you know a little something. I got this accessory cord here attached to me, so that that works pretty good. And you know you know the deal, right? It releases as soon as you, um, you move back. So once you like <sighs> sit back or something, the, uh, the hook there is meant to give way. I guess they had some issues with it. Uh, one thing with the, uh, with this thing, the zigzag also has the same issue. And uh, I'll show you guys you guys what I'm talking about so for instance I'm gonna get into work uh, into working position real quick and then I'm gonna continue explaining for you guys so here it goes so I'm here at the uh, the limb that I need to cut and So, assuming we're right here at our, at the crotch that we want to, or crotch limb, whatever you want to call it, whatever you're cutting. The problem is that if something were to fall out of the tree, it'll hit the top here and you know, you'll go for a free fall. Um, it takes kind of a lot of pressure to, to, uh, to get that to happen, but in the case that it does, you know, backup's always the, uh, you know, the safety measure when you're climbing. So what I do is, uh, you know, I girth hitch to one of these Dyneema slings here. Clip it on to an ascender and you have a backup, you know. So if anything were to happen here, you, um, worst case scenario this happens your uh your hand ascender got you <sighs> but yeah that's the uh the gist of uh what i was trying to explain so that's one of the problems with this kind of uh multi sender and you just want to always back it up so make sure you're backing up your stuff uh zigzag all those kinds of things and i know that it's not always the uh, most practical thing to be uh, backing up your your system but you know whenever you see the, the like the situation it's kind of sketchy and you're just thinking to yourself hey maybe i should back it up back it up uh, that's a very quick and simple way um and then yeah you just rack it on so there you go Um, you know, I want to 
just adjust myself real quick. And one of the ways one of the ways you can do that is by just pulling up on your sender, right? One of those, it's like this. So that little bollard there. It's not a pulley, but it um it does the job. It does a good job. Taking away some of that friction so that you can uh so you can take some slack out of your line. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go for a little rope walk and then Basically that right there, you want to be on the other side of that of that lead there, so you can so I can walk out there. I'm gonna go and do that real quick, and yeah, here we go. So I'm just gonna attach my foot ascender. Here's the notch, jet step, foot ascender. And it does some some good work for you. It's camless. Uh, it's a good tool for the back. Is it without its? Uh, oh no, definitely not something that's perfect. But it's it's pretty damn good. It's pretty good. Good product. Like, see, I just lost my my foot ascender attachment there. Um, not what I was expecting. Yep, this thing is sustained there. It is folks here it is now we're on the other side of the limb here so you guys can see there the um yeah that frame was a little messed up here huh so yeah as soon as I got up here and leaned back my uh accessory cordage came out of the uh this back piece here through my um, there we go and bam that's real nice and smooth there <laughs> yeah. Huh? No. Why would I come down? Having too much fun. <sighs> See you guys, that was uh that was super smooth. Real nice. Uh friction adjustment there, real time during the swing. Um was able to get enough line. I was a little scared because this thing can be a little twitchy, but uh, it held up pretty good. And yeah, 
that's pretty much all. I mean, there could be a lot more said about the device, but it's so good. It, it is really good. I can't really complain about it. been using it for probably about I don't know probably just got a few hours on it That's uh, my little spiel on the Akimbo. If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask them. Ask them in the comments below. Give me a like if you like this kind of content. You want to keep seeing this content, subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, I'll have a great day. And be careful out there. I know this coronavirus thing, uh, uh, it's getting pretty out of hand. Uh, be safe, everybody. Peace out.